Hi there, and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, McAllen ISD had a special project to, to provide free meals to students and their families over the summer, and their efforts for nutrition continue through the fall. Now, we caught up with one of their team members uh, about these resources and how it will benefit our RGV students. Go ahead and take a look. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Donna with General Mills. Happy to be here at McAllen ISD to talk about the General Mills Trade Blazers that we've selected Alex Molina, the Director of School Nutrition here at McAllen. Good morning, everyone. McAllen ISD has a 113-year tradition of feeding kids in our schools. But what happens when schools close unexpectedly? McAllen ISD Child Nutrition never hesitated and knew that our families, while learning virtually, still needed the support of our operations team. Starting on March 23rd, our fearless staff, with the support of our superintendent and school board, began a mission to serve families in the community. So who did we turn to? Our bus drivers are people that our parents depend on every day to safely transport their kids. So partnering with our transportation team, we used our established Here Comes the Bus app and switched it a little bit. This app then provided meal times and meal arrival information for families. So working families that wanted to make sure that their kids had meals, downloaded the app and were notified when the bus was in the proximity of their homes. kids were able to step out and were able to pick up hot lunches, breakfast, and dinner all in one stop. Kids didn't even have to be present. Thanks to TDA waivers, we were able to have parents pick up meals for their kids while they were learning, while parents were on lunch breaks, and therefore we knew that our kids didn't have to be hungry. We also made sure that we had daily contact with families. Why is this important? Kids were learning virtually. They lost access to their teacher, their friends, their principals, and their school building. Yet they got to see a friendly smile, and while we weren't able to hug, a fist pump and a smile through a mask made all the difference to our students. This August, we again had to start remotely, and while now we have about 38% of our kids back face to face, we still are prov providing remote meals to our families and face-to-face -face meals. General Mills has been a fantastic partner with us. They've given us graphics for our social media. They've supported our use of Bitmoji Lisa and Bitmoji Oneida to communicate real-time information to families and have strongly supported our Facebook presence. Having industry partners like General Mills makes job of myself and my colleagues easy. They're a resource of pre-printed graphics they're a resource in menu ideas. And while we've had supply and demand issues from vendors, their real-time notification allows us to let our families know of menu changes. Who doesn't want to start off with Lucky Charm cereal or Cinnamon Toast Crunch while learning virtually from home? So while school is getting ready to wrap up, McAllen ISD Child Nutrition will provide community meals June, July, and August. Please join us on the McAllen ISD Child Nutrition Facebook page or the McAllen ISD website and look out for the closest location to you all summer long. We want to make sure that while school is out, learning doesn't stop and we can make sure to provide you access to healthy, nutritious and delicious meals every day. Please join us at any of our feeding locations. There is no charge. Children ages 1 to 18 can participate at no charge and again, if your kids are learning virtually, they do not have to be with you to pick up meals. Feel free to visit McAllenISD.org for more information on these resources and how their team of educators can help you and your family. All right, well, as the world reopens, you would think that our homes would be cleaner as we spend a lot of time in quarantine and working indoors during the height of the pandemic. However, a new study showed that Americans are actually cleaning less, and it also revealed some of the dirtiest spots in the house, areas that perhaps we didn't think of as being unclean. Go ahead and take a look. I'm Becky Rappenchuk from Clean Mama, and I'm here to talk to you about our cleaning habits 
and how the pandemic has changed cleaning and how we approach cleaning in our homes. I want to give you some tips and tricks for cleaning and making it a little bit easier and hopefully a little more fun too. Through Arm & Hammer, we surveyed a thousand um, Americans and across the United States to see how they like to clean and what they hope to never clean again. Um, the most enjoyable cleaning chores included tidying and putting things away uh, at 33%. Washing laundry and daily clothes was at 30% were of most enjoyable cleaning chores. Uh, making the bed was 26%, which is really a simple task and only takes a couple minutes. So that does make sense. Um, cleaning kitchen counters was 24% and vacuuming the floor was 23%. So those are the most enjoyable cleaning chores uh, through this survey. <laughs> and the least enjoyable cleaning chores included cleaning the toilet at 45%, cleaning the bathtub 33%, cleaning out the fridge 26%, and cleaning pet litter at 23%. So those kind of make sense. Those are the things that we really put off or don't like uh, cleaning. <laughs> um, they also found that cleaning chores most likely to make members feel proud or accomplished include cleaning out the fridge at 35%, tidying at 28%, cleaning the car at 20%, and cleaning bathroom surfaces 19%, cleaning the garage, basement, attic at 18%. Um, those, so those things are interesting too, but when I think about them from a cleaning perspective, I see that those are things that you get that instant gratification for. So you see the before and the after pretty quickly. And so we like that <laughs> when we're cleaning. Um, so that's definitely uh, kind of, that makes sense to me as well. Um, another interesting aspect of the survey was that nearly 48% of those surveyed said that they look for natural cleaning products. So we know that we're, people are looking for things that are safe, natural, that they can use in their homes and um, use around pets and other family members and not feel like worry about what they might be inhaling or smelling or anything like that. I think for me and with the readers on my blog, I see a lot of people putting things off. And once you realize how long something does take, you're more inclined to want to actually participate in that cleaning task. Um, so for instance, if I'm cleaning or unloading the dishwasher, which is something I really put off and I don't like doing, I've started timing myself with that and it only takes like three minutes, which is very surprising to me because I would have guessed it was like 10 or 15 by the, I mean, the amount and then you put it off and then it becomes a bigger task because now you have a stack of dishes plus, you know, it, it just kind of exacerbates the problem. Um, so my tip is always to just do the task and not put it off because the when you're actually doing things in uh, like regularly and consistently, it will take you less time overall because you will have less of a mess. All right, well, that's all of our time for now. We want to thank you again so much for joining us this morning and be sure to tune in again next week because we'll visit the Rage Room in Harlingen to learn how we can get let out all of our anger or tensions in a unique way. We'll also give you tips from the pros at a local gym so you can get your blood pumping with a healthy and active lifestyle plus coffee, the pros and cons of drinking it, and how it impacts your body. We've got all of that and so much more Monday on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.